going on? It's Luxury Fred. I'm just cruising here in the 2019 Cadillac CT6 Platinum with Super Cruise. Pretty cool, right? What Super Cruise? Super Cruise is Cadillac's amazing hands-free driving technology that will provide a hands-free driving experience for hours and hours, hundreds of miles. I just need to monitor everything, like the pilot of a modern jet plane. And I'm telling you, it's very relaxing. Okay, so again, this is the 2019 Cadillac CT6 Platinum. And before I get started with a review and talking about the car, I always like to say, hey, please subscribe to my channel. Just click the uh, subscribe button right there. And I have lots of great uh, luxury car and luxury travel content. I'm a luxury travel writer and a car writer as well and I make videos about all my experiences as I travel around the world uh, on my writing assignment. So please, if you haven't already, click, subs click subscribe uh, to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. So uh, this is Cadillac's top of the line luxury sedan um, with options, well the only option, this is the platinum level, which is the top of the line model and it basically includes every possible option that you can get. The only option that this car has is upgraded uh, wheels. It's got 20 inch wheels instead of 19 inch wheels. So actually, before I keep going, let me give you a quick look at the outside of the CT6. So I really like the shape of this car. Uh, CT6 has developed nicely over the past couple of years. Uh, I think it definitely has a distinctive larger feel and because it is a larger car than the CTS and the ATS. They definitely look a lot different now, which I like. Uh, again, this is the Platinum all-wheel drive edition. Um, so with the Platinum, you get every possible option. The only option that this car has, as I said before, is it has upgraded 20-inch alloy wheels instead of the 19-inch standard wheels. But uh, just love the lines of the car really like the tail lights. I really like uh, just the whole look. It's sporty, yet it's not over sporty. Uh, again, I, th I think well competing with uh, Mercedes S-Class and other kind of European luxury cars that are in this same price range. And definitely love how the larger wheels look. Definitely gives it a uh, cooler, hipper look, I think. And uh, you've got kind of that signature Cadillac sport grill that uh, they're using on a lot of different models these days. Okay, so there's a look at the outside. 
the 2019 Cadillac CT6 Platinum. Pretty nice, right? Uh, now, let me give you a look around the inside of the CT6. So, love the seats in this car. Extremely, extremely comfortable. Uh, these are full leather seats. Uh, it's semi-aniline leather, which I've learned means the dye penetrates into the leather. Uh, it's not just kind of dyed on the surface, and it's a gives you a better, more durable seat, um, but real sumptuous inside. So again, this is the platinum level of this car, so it's kind of the nicest finish inside. Uh, you have very nice wood trim. You have a bit of uh, carbon fiber here on the dash. Not too much, because again, this is a, a luxury car. And then you have a uh, wood trim right there. Uh, you have a new uh, controller here for the Q, the Cadillac User Experience, their infotainment system. I'm still getting used to it a little bit. Um, you have the large display there. It is still a, a touch screen display, so you can still touch it. And then you have a large uh, dashboard here with your digital controls. And obviously all of this is configurable depending on what you want to see there. You can change that all around. Um, so very nice fit and finish inside. You have uh, massage functions on the seats. Uh, you have obviously seat memory and all the other kind of luxury goodies right here. Uh, you also have paddle shifters, uh, which I think is very nice. And then, uh, so to go over the controls, these are your um, cruise control and your, this is the magic super cruise hands-free mode. Uh, this you use to change the configurable display and change what information is, is shown up there. Uh, these are the sensors for the Super Cruise that uh, monitor which way your head is facing and that kind of thing. And you do have a heads-up display, which I'm not driving, so you can't see that right now. But again, very luxurious. You've got the double uh, sunroof here and very nice fit and finish overall. So now let's take a look at the back seat. So the back seat is a wonderful, wonderful place to be. Uh, my dog has been back here, so we've got a little dog hair. Okay, so the back seat is a really nice place to be. You have your uh, rear seat entertainment system, and for some reason this screen is stuck. Uh, not sure what's going on with that. Um, and then you have this very nice uh, center console, and then the rear seats have uh, heated, and they also have a lot of uh, control in terms of reclining and moving backwards and forwards. And then the rear seats have a massage functions there. Uh, this is your controller for the rear seat entertainment system. And then the car also comes with Cadillac wireless noise canceling headphones. So you can sit back here and watch your content uh, with your noise canceling headphones and really have a nice experience. And as you can see, sorry, my doggy's been back here. You got some dog footprints there. You have these beautiful, sumptuous uh, leather seats here in the rear. Uh, and then you do have a pass through into the trunk and uh, just a very, very, you know, limo like experience if you're riding in the back. Uh, and you do have separate uh, climate control for the rear there. And uh, you have these manual, I think they call them, uh, rear sunshades. And uh, the one thing this car doesn't have, I don't think, is the rear sunshade thing because of the angle of that window. And that's always a problem with me because I live in Palm Springs where it's really hot and you kind of need a rear sunshade. So that's a look at the back. So the CT6 has a wonderfully smooth uh, three liter twin turbo V6 engine. It gives you 404 horsepower and makes the car extremely fast, smooth, subtle speed. Uh, you've got different drive modes and when you put it in the sport mode and you use the paddle shifters, it really moves like other Cadillac sports sedans. But if you put it in the touring mode, 
you can just drive it comfortably and it is a wonderful luxury car but a luxury car that has ample power to do whatever you need to do uh, and that um, twin turbo v6 gets you an average of 21 miles per gallon which is okay uh, 18 city 26 on the highway um, I averaged about 25 miles per gallon uh, on a couple of long drives that I did and you also have a 10-speed transmission that is very smooth and really uh, adapts to your driving style and is not um, it works in the background which I think is what a proper transmission should do uh, you don't really notice it um, the color of this I should have mentioned before is shadow metallic with a jet black interior and this car again the platinum with the $700 upgraded wheels is $88,490 $88,490 so uh, it competes with maybe an S-Class Mercedes uh, maybe an Audi S6 maybe an A8 something like that and I really, really like it. Um, the other aspect that I really like is it is super smooth and super quiet. I love quiet cars. So this is very well insulated. You don't hear wind, you don't hear road noise, you don't hear anything else like that. Um, it has the magnetic ride control, which makes it just so smooth. And it also has active rear steering, which really helps on the handling. Um, the other important thing or the other key thing is it has the full suite of Cadillac safety technology. Uh, auto braking frontwards, auto braking when you're in reverse, front and rear pedestrian detection, blind spot alert, uh, lane, not a lane keep assist, but it beeps if you go over the lane. It even has night vision and of course um, as I showed you before it has the incredible hands-free super cruise technology also this Cadillac completely made in the USA assembled in the USA engines made in the USA transmission is made in the USA a lot of luxury cars um, might be assembled in the USA but I've been surprised to find you know transmissions come from Mexico Japan all kinds of places and same thing with engines everything on this Cadillac uh, is uh, not everything but uh, all the key components are made in the US so I think that's important if you're if you're buying an American car um, what else uh, that's it let me uh, let me take you for a drive let me put it into sport mode and uh, give you a little taste of uh, what it will uh, do. Okay, ready? And great exhaust note from those quad uh, exhausts. And let me flip her around. Again, great on slaloms and stuff like that with that active uh, rear steering and just great handling love the magnetic ride control really really good experience in terms of uh, your handling we got the traction control on so I can't make it go sideways but you can see it's a uh, it's a lot of fun Okay, so let me show you how to use the Super Cruise. Super Cruise works in conjunction with the adapter of cruise control. So we set the cruise control, and now it's set. And that's gonna obviously control the following distance. And then if we activate the Super Cruise, we get a green light here that indicates the Super Cruise is activated. And now I don't need to touch the steering wheel. So there's a truck in front of us, so it's gonna slow down. So I'm gonna take control, and I'm gonna change lanes. And then once I'm safely in the other lane, then it goes green, and we can go hands-free again. 
And as long as I'm looking forward and paying attention, there's no time limit. There's, it, it will do this for thousands of miles or hours and hours and hours, as long as I'm looking forward and paying attention. So if I look over here, the green light starts to flash, which reminds me that I need to be paying attention. So as I've talked about, the Super Cruise technology uses three layers of technology to keep you on the road. It's got cameras and sensors all over the car that see the lanes, see other cars, things like that. Then it's got a GPS, of course, that tells the car where it is uh, in terms of the real world and which lane it is and things like that. And then probably most importantly, uh, Cadillac went around all of North America and mapped about 500,000 miles in roads with LiDAR, which is laser radar. So that means that the car has a map of this road already on it and it's following that map. So it's everything is not a surprise. It knows there's a curve coming up in a mile. It knows that the lanes move into fewer lanes or something like that. Uh, as I've said before, the Super Cruise only works on a divided highway, on a freeway like this, and it only works within one lane. So it doesn't change lanes for you. Uh, if I change lanes, uh, it'll disable the uh, Super Cruise, and then once I get back in a lane, then it'll re-enable it again. And it works in conjunction with the adaptive cruise control, uh, which obviously controls your following distance uh, from the car in front of you. So it really provides an automated driving experience.